Hello everyone. So there was a question on my uh, on my channel or I believe on the community about uh, copying the information from a parent issue to the child issue. So basically, if you have a parent with some fields filled in, you may want to uh, copy the fields from parent to your uh, to your subtask, and uh, this can be done. However. Uh, before I show you the rule, before I start, uh, of course, talking about how this rule will work, it is, of course, very simple, nothing complicated about it. But I just wanted to mention that uh, when you have the information on, in the parent, maybe think again why you want to copy that information to your subtask. Uh, I mean, in some cases, uh, you may want to copy this information so that it is convenient for the uh, person who is working on the subtask so that uh, he or she or they they don't have to go to the uh, parent to look for the information but i think uh, the, the subtask the idea of a subtask is to basically break down your parent into a smaller i mean when you have a big task big, big task big activity and you want to break it down uh, then you can create a subtask and that is the original purpose of this uh, subtask issue type in Jira and in those cases of course uh, you have the information which you are uh, anyways inheriting from your uh, uh, parent I mean when I say inherit I'm not really saying that copy the field values uh, automatically Jira, Jira won't do it for you but uh, if you want to look for that for that information you can always go to the parent or if you want to maybe fetch this fetch this information programmatically you can also do that but uh, for some reason if you want to also look at those fields in your subtask then yes it can be done using automation so let us see how it works so right now i have this particular uh, rule which is right now going to be uh, triggered when i transition the issue so the whole idea here is that i may have an issue let us say let me open one of the uh, parent here so this is my parent issue where uh, i may have some fields like uh, you know number field text field and i may have uh, maybe uh, let us say a due date for example so it could be a custom field it could be uh, a system field now what i want to do i may have few subtasks so if i click on uh, the create subtask here so let us say i have subtask number three now i want this uh, information from parent like maybe due date or maybe the what else let us let us take a look at this particular field uh, this is my parents text field which is nothing but a text field with some string you may want to copy some information so what we can do here is we can trigger this when the issue is transitioned to on hold and at the same time uh, there is something called as a, a branch so when you create a new branch, you can actually click on a branch rule or related issues and you will find this option here called subtask. So basically for that particular parent for which the rule is uh, triggered, you want to now work on the subtask. So just select it and uh, this will of course give you this uh, option here to then do something within those uh, subtasks. Now what you want to do is you basically want to uh, add a new component here and uh, select here edit, edit issues and uh, basically you will find this uh, action and you can select here fields like maybe due date and uh, you can of course set it um, manually or you can uh, copy this from your uh, parent not current issue so by default it is current issue but you can select it to uh, be copied from the parent and that is it that is all you need to do now when i work on automation rules i basically try to also dump the information in the audit log so that I can monitor what is happening. I can also see what values are being uh, transferred. For example, right now I do have this rule which is basically going to copy the due date from parent, text field, uh, which is nothing but text field. This is the name of my field and the description from the parent. Uh, but I also want to see these values in the log so what i'm doing here is i am fetching the due date like issue dot due date and right now this will be based on the parent and not the subtask so we are talking about parents due date and issue dot text field which is parents text field uh, you may have some custom fields like date picker field and uh, you can also fetch this field using uh, the field name or you can use the custom field id of that particular uh, field now I will publish this rule 
and uh, what I'll do, I'll click on the audit log. And right now, we don't really have any rule which is running. But what I normally do is when I when I'm testing the rule, I try to uh, do something, and then I uh, make sure I monitor the uh, log so that I can see things in action. It is satisfying when you when you see something working, and all, when you also see those values in the log, it is a really good thing that you can do so that you can uh, celebrate that your rule is working. So right now I just triggered this. Hopefully it will work. So if I go back to my uh, audit log, I can see already here that uh, something happened, which is uh, uh, which is quick. So if I click on the show more, it will uh, show you, uh, you know, the items in the log and uh, the text field. And if I go to my new subtask, hopefully it will show me the fields like you know parent description so this is something that we have copied from the parent and we can also take a look at the text field which is again coming from the parent and also the due date which is also coming from the parent so you can see they see that this is of course not a very difficult thing to do using automation rule but again as i mentioned in the beginning try uh, i mean think about this rule what this rule is doing and do we really need to this uh, do we really need to copy the information from parent to child I can understand yes in some cases in in some cases yes but uh, it is I think uh, adding a, a bit more burden on Jira you know uh, you have this in th I mean if you want to look at those values just go to the parent I mean keep it simple uh, I think small things like small uh, things like these will uh, ensure that your Jira instance is uh, you know not massively uh, underperforming when you have thousands or maybe millions of issues uh, so this this is of course going to be uh, a pr problematic a pr problematic and also right now we are just doing it for one issue in one project type but uh, uh, also again when you're working with automation rules try to limit the scope try to uh, maybe add here conditions because right now for the sake of this demonstration i just did this uh, for on hold transition but maybe you want to check if uh, first of all uh, in, in my rule, this is right now within Android project, so not really going to work in any other project. But even within Android project, maybe you want to add a condition on top or, uh, you know, check for a specific issue type, for example. So these are small things that I think uh, will help you in case you're trying to build these automations. Wonderful, wonderful automations in Jira. I mean, you can do a lot of, lot of great things, but uh, you have to be also very careful about... Uh, the maintenance and uh, the impact, the performance performance impact it may have uh, due to these uh, things automatically happening in your Jira instance. And that is all. That is all I wanted to talk about today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much. Bye bye.